Welcome to our first video of 2020. As the markets are going top, doing this video at the top of the world from Burj Khalifa, Dubai. Markets are going up with momentum. Momentum came from government's bonanza through the corporate tax cuts. And as we are talking, in a week's time, we are going to have budgets where personal tax cut is expected. Government is planning to give more money into the hands of people to trigger consumption. Even with negative news coming up after all this uh, in the last two, three months, from the GDP going down to 4.5 and issues with Iranian boss being, being shot dead, yet markets still holding up. When negative news doesn't get hit, that means markets are going to go up strongly. We are waiting for positive news and that will trigger our markets to rally up from here. When negative news is not pushing the prices down, that means we are done with all the downside. Market is waiting for good news and shoot off from here. This gives us certainty that we will not go down from here and we can look forward to positive news. Only that it will take a little more time for our markets to get good news. And we have done with two years of pain in our market where Sensex and Nifty were hitting new highs continuously and investor portfolios were not doing so good. This was because of the polarization that we had in the markets, which not only brought pain to the investors, it also brought pain to fund managers and advisors because they had to answer to all the investors' fury. So what is polarization? When you put a magnet into sand, how it only picks out iron filings in it, same like it in the market too. Only very few stocks start moving up and uh, that creates a big push in the market. That's what is called polarization. Why polarization happened? After a slew of bad news that we had in the market, investors shied away from investing into big chunk of stocks. They only went into selective quality, high liquid stocks and big money chasing this few stocks pushed their prices up. These stocks also have high weightage in the index. That's the reason Sensex and uh, Nifty started moving up and broad market did not do well. This which we had in the last two years of market going up and hopefully is not doing well, this started changing the other way now. Broad markets have started moving up and these few stocks that push the index up is kind of sucky. Or it's flat or started moving down also some of the stocks. Even the HDFC Bank which was a very big weight stock in the whole of a country started going down now. And this will push the broad investors portfolios to go up because investor portfolios in mutual funds cannot have few stocks they will have a broad based set of stocks you can see a uh, the shift in the market in the last two months to from november if we see the returns in the index sensex went up about two percent while uh, mid cap is up four percent and small caps have touched ten percent gains in the last two months